please stand for a moment of silence, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our IMC renovation is coming along, and although we can't allow students back in just yet, we are able to access the books on the shelves. We are so excited to get books back into your hands. This means you can place a hold on a book. To place a hold, log in to Destiny, find the book you would like, and click Hold. It is a good idea to place a hold on at least two books at a time, then we'll do our best to get one of those books to you. If you are a remote learner and would like to place a hold, please send an email to Mrs. Farnworth so we can arrange a pickup day and time. For today's Black History in the Making, we celebrate Tyler Perry. He has filmed eight television shows, 22 movies, and 20 plays. Not only has he achieved those accomplishments, but in October of 2019, Tyler has became the first Black man to own a major recording studio. The studio was purchased in 2015 and is located 330 acres of historic grounds of the former Fort Mc. Arvin, Army base of a former Confederate base in Atlanta. The historic grounds include 40 buildings and the National Register of Historic Places, 12 purpose built sound stages, 200 acres of green space, and a diverse black lot. The grounds continue to grow with opportunities for those less fortunate than Perry. He is in the process of building a compound for tra traffic women, girls, homeless women, and LGBTQ youth who are put out in this place. They will be housed in nice apartments, have access to daycares, and be trained in a field that will allow them to be successful and re-enter society. All girls in 7th and 8th grade at Southport Middle School are invited to join Girls Inc. Girls Inc. meets on Wednesdays from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock via Google Meet. There is no fee this semester. To participate, click on the Girls Inc. link on the SMS Library webpage and complete the registration form, inspiring all girls to be strong, smart, and bold. 6th, 7th, and 8th graders may try out for any spring sport. All participants must have a completed athletic physical already on file for this or the previous year. Anyone new to the program can find a physical form on Southport Middle School's athletic webpage. This must be completed by a licensed, licensed physician or nurse practitioner prior to tryouts. You will also find the registration link on this page to register for athletics. This too must be completed by student and parent or guardian before participation is allowed. In addition, every athlete must complete the health history questionnaire form found on the athletics website and return it to the athletic office no later than the first day of trial to practice. Any part of the final forms registration that is incomplete or if any signatures are missing will deem the student to athlete ineligible to participate in athletics even if the completed physical form and health certificate are provided. At the tryout, masks are mandatory, you must arrive dressed for practice, and each athlete must have their own individually marked water bottle. Please see the schedule for your tryout date. Teachers, please make sure every student is wearing a lanyard around their neck with their barcode attached. If a student does not have a lanyard, they may go down to student services to purchase one for $2. They may also get a replacement barcode.
Students, please be sure to take your Chromebooks and charger with you home after each in-person learning day. Congratulations to our February High Flying Cardinals. In seventh grade, we are celebrating Monica Bachan, Jenna Dunham, Thon Dot Young, Hayden Iasenio, Faith Johnson, La Moy, Kate Million, Ebenezer Nongtong, Joseph Petty, and Chung Thong. In eighth grade, we are celebrating Summer Fischel, Gabriela Gallegos Infante, Tay Ling, Samantha Loza Barraza, Rose Za Young Par, Andrea Perez Zeke, Maggie Shelburne, London Shields, Olivia Thompson, and Jolly Twanzi. Keep flying high, Cardinals. Good morning, Southport. Eighth grade classrooms, you're welcome to turn off your announcements now, as this one just pertains to our seventh graders. Seventh graders, a lot of us are looking forward to having this year behind us for a variety of reasons. But there's a lot to look forward to next year as well. One of those being the electives you get to choose from. You'll have a new slate of electives to pick from, and this announcement is to tell you about those and how the process is gonna work, because this coming week is your week to let me know what you're interested in for next year. So you're going to be receiving a letter here in advisory to take home with your parents. And here's some things I want you to keep in mind as you take this home. One, I really want you to share this with your parents so you can discuss the different opportunities you have to pick from. Then I want you to remember that this is due by next Thursday at the latest. You need to go online and complete your form before next Thursday. When you do so, please make sure you're logged into your account. Don't be accidentally logged into your brother or sister's account because you're using their Chromebook. It won't register your choices like you want it to. And lastly, please do understand that you get one shot to fill this out. So you wanna make sure that everything is just like you want before you click the submit button. So how do you find this link that you need to sign up for electives? Well, you're gonna to go to our school website, perryschools.org sm. Once you're there, you'll go to the counseling tab. Notice the menu options. You're gonna to wanna to go down to scheduling. Now keep in mind, I'm just showing you this. Please don't do it now. One, the link is not live yet. Secondly, remember what I said about taking the letter home to your parents and discussing it with them first. But after you've talked it over with them, maybe sometime this weekend or this evening, then you'll come here to counseling, down to scheduling, and click on that choice. When you look at our scheduling page, it's going to tell you a lot about electives. At the top, you will notice the link for the survey. But if you scroll down, just like in the letter that you're taking home, the different options are discussed so that you have some idea of what these classes are like. Please read that over in detail. You might even want to talk with somebody who's had the class this year or before, maybe someone in eighth grade, ninth grade that you know, and then make your selection. Remember, you cannot change your selections. You can't tell me later that you forgot. We just can't do that with 600 students in every grade level. So you're gonna to need to make your selection through this form. And then once you click submit, it is finalized. Hopefully that answers most of your questions and uh, best wishes as you select what you wanna do for next year.